Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Divine Encounters and Guidance. Today, I know it's a very busy month, it's busy for me also, but I wanted to come in and talk about the full moon in Gemini and how you can use it to your advantage. You know, we've been working hard on our path the past few years, and so I didn't want to leave this out because this full moon is integral on your path into your new beginning that we're already in, but it takes time, you know, I think, I don't know if I've talked about this uh, recently, but each cycle, the ending of a cycle, remember the last cycle ending took a really long time. And so the beginning of one takes a while too. You're moving slowly into it. You're, you're progressing, you know, cyclical and up, cyclical and up. That's how we learn lessons. That's how we uh, ascend. That's how we move forward on our timelines. So, this full moon is about seeing from a higher perspective and seeing clearly where you did not before. So we're enough into this new cycle where we can see where we have transformed, where we put ourselves on track for a beautiful, sunny new beginning and where we have held ourselves back and what we need to do to get on track to where we desire to be. And then it's also the integration of the spiritual lessons. As you can see where you've come from, what you've done, all the things you've learned, you understand that you're integrating these lessons, which helps you to see where to step next, right? And then, you know, the, there's other energies at play too. I don't want to go into all of them. I'm not really an astrologer, but I'm, I'm hearing be mindful of your responses, your inner responses, your outer responses. You know, because your inner responses take your eye off the prize, take you off your vision for where you're moving toward. And your outer responses can cause fights at this time because there's a lot of sensitivity around a full moon when you are integrating and you're seeing where you've messed up and where you want to go. So there's a new timeline available changing you have the ability to change the narrative which is that cyclical sorry the cyclical the cycles where you tell yourself a narrative that keeps you where you're at um so you can choose the higher timeline and release that um because there's also um i play a desire for higher love at this time and you have to release narratives to move toward things like that. So, you know, the legends of this moon um, hint toward the death card in tarot, which is about um, endings, transformation, and new beginnings, which is exactly what every other part of this energy is, is aspecting you toward. And I'm feeling like... <sighs> Anything's possible. Miracles are possible. Un there's unlimited possibilities coming in, okay? And this is because you spend all this time on inner work and clearing the way for these miracles and infinite possibilities. Um, and so at the same in the same vein with the miracles and possibilities, infinite possibilities, is a new level of surrender that and letting go, trusting the divine or your higher self, trusting now. So that's what surrender is a cyclical thing too. And there's a new level available for all the work that you've done. And Archangel Michael is also reminding us to hold the vision and celebrate how far we have come. I thought I'd pull a couple Oracle cards too, just to, to finish this up. Hold on. This is a light deck. Okay. And there's way, there's way too many over here. Okay. There's a lot of energy available to do the things that I was talking about. I hope you take advantage of it. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> so many cards. Good Lord. Okay. We want one. Is, I might. I will take two if two come out, but not these big pockets of, of cards. There we go. Sacred action. Oh my God, what I was talking about, decisive focus. So the moon is about, right? Seeing where you've, what you've done, where you've come, where you've held yourself back. Okay, so sacred action. Put your focus, um, have decisive focus. Well, this means, you know, don't go back and forth. And back and forth is sometimes just doubting. Okay, so that's what the surrender is about. 
releasing to your higher self once you have made the decision and this is what i was talking about okay the hot do you see the full moon the hostilities conflict unrest just think before you speak right now okay they really really want to reiterate that and the bottom of the deck is calming the waters peaceful self regular <laughs> oh my god so this must be big for a lot of people right now so do you see the moon is in both of these cards i think the moon's in most of these cards i've just noticed that That's maybe why i picked this one up um yeah so go within instead of you know before before you feel like you have to say something uh make sure it's necessary and then do it in the nicest way possible and keep your eye on the prize i hope this was helpful if it was please like share subscribe i love you all happy full moon